Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Project Ozone 3, Kappa Mode. How are you guys doing today? How's life? Yes, I noticed that too, my helmet looks weird. Because I'm standing backwards. Hello! Generally, I would prefer to start today's episode by trying to implement some of your comments on the previous one on the mob farm. But the thing is, I haven't uploaded it yet. So, we need to do something else for the moment. And I was thinking maybe we should start with food. Cosmic meatballs. Because we are going to need the cosmic meatballs in order to make the infinity catalyst. The recipe for it is not really bad. At least it doesn't look really bad. We need beef. Why are you cooked? It seems that I have a passive buff from Lordcraft and therefore I'm literally cooking everything. But it is perfectly okay because we have raw material over here. I don't know how many ultimate crafting tables we have. But we're going to use them all in order to make cosmic meatballs. Because I don't want to craft it ever again. And these coal singularities go in the trash. I'm rich on singularities. Sue me. We have to go on a very small adventure in order to gather some creatures. For instance, we need to go to the twilight forest. We need to go to the nether. And that's it, basically. I didn't check the fish. Yes, we have fish. And it has EMC. So we are fine. Did you know that with our shiny new armor... That looks tall. <laughs> we should be able to fly in the twilight forest. That is the wrong way. There is a chance cube. What can go wrong? Okay. That's it. There is another chance cube. Oh. Sand. Double compressed sand. And there is another chance cube. Boss fight. Uh oh. <laughs> I think I did something stupid. Where's the boss? Lush versus Mimic. Oh. oh. He has my armor. He's dead. I'm not opening any chance cubes. I'm just saying. Rip XP. Okay. That is a venison in its natural habitat. I don't remember correctly, but I think we're going to need these blocks. Just a bit. We're also looking for a mushroom. So we go down. Now that you want a mushroom, none of them spawn. Oh, there's one. Okay. You come with me. I also got a penguin soul. Don't ask me how. We are also going to need one imp and they're very difficult to spot. The thing is when you have nether eggs in the pack, you get a lot of garbage mobs and you don't get the mobs that you want. Actually, we also need a ghast, so it's not the worst place to be. Hello. Yes, yes, one imp. Okay, you're coming with me. We're done. Actually, while we're in the nether, maybe I should gather a little bit of experience as well, because the thing is, I want to remove knowledge of the ages from our sword so that I can use looting. And then I'm scared I won't be able to put it back, because in order to remove it, I'm going to need 300 levels. Actually, there are not that many mobs in the nether. And there is far more over here. Well, I am back and I think I did manage to deactivate the flaming strike from Lordcraft, so we should be fine. And we have 3653 levels. And we're going to need 333 levels in order to remove knowledge of the ages. Okay, so can I put it back? No. Can I put it back with all of my experience? No. Can I at least use looting? Yes, that gave us 37. That's really good. So obviously we can automate this process, but if I do it manually, I think it will be faster. Yeah, we already got a bajillion. So for the anti-beef, anti-pork, and anti-chicken, we are going to require antimatter. And then we just drop a chicken, go in, I said go in, and we pick you up. And the cow. I was carrying a sheep, but apparently we're going to need a pig as well. They have EMC, right? Oh, so we only need one. Of all the items that I had to gather, ghast meat was the worst. And I'm left with a lot of holes in my platform. Yeah, we're fine. But it also gave me a trophy. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the cosmic meatballs. Also, more cosmic meatballs. And more. And more. And more. 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 And more. And we're out of space. And just so that I don't bore you to death, I have four more stacks over here. So how many do we have? Uh, 2300. It's not bad. The next item on the list is the ultimate stew. Oh. Oh, it has EMC. Okay, that's good. I only need one. Okay, seriously, I'm very confused. Do you stack? No. So do I have to do it one by one? Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, okay. We'll see. Well, I did make a very small shopping list and we need to go to the market. So we're going to start with mustard. Hello. Oh, sorry. Did I misplace it? Oh, you have to buy them with RAKs? Holy. <laughs> I did not know that. Oops. Do you also have onions? Uh, 
Pots do not stack and I'm not sure if it's going to consume the pot or not. So we have a salad, we add it here, and we will see if it consumes the pot or not. Oh, it doesn't, okay. Because otherwise I had to actually automate one of these guys, which uh, we don't need to, I guess. It's just that we are going to need a lot of ingredients and most of them do not have EMC. So we are going to have a very small farm over here and I'm going to use crop sticks so that the harvester that I'm going to use from industrial foregoing will not take the entire plant out. Because if you use crop sticks, it will not do that. And then we're going to add tomatoes, garlic, beans, mustard, onion, and spinach. And here is your fancy light. Now you should grow. You're also going to require RF and a few upgrades. Yeah, it's going to take a bit of time, but it's okay. I can wait. I actually thought that you export automatically, you don't? Yeah, with a few speed upgrades, it works fine. I know that some of you guys are going to tell me, Lush, you should try and automate some of the ultimate crafting recipes because it's much easier. But the thing is, sometimes when you do something manually, it's actually much faster. And I would like to mention that this is day 754 and we're making the ultimate stew. I'm just saying that there could be a correlation between not automating everything and managing your time efficiently. And I don't have to wait for crafting. Also planning ahead helps you a little bit. This is the recipe for the chaos catalyst. We're not going to work on it this episode, not even the next one and not even the next one, maybe in like four episodes. But I thought since this is going to be a huge time sink, I might as well start making it. And since wafers take a very long time to make, all of these guys are already busy. Before we continue with the rest of the episode, I would like to mention a few notes. So I'm not interested in constant and singularity that's representing all the other singularities. So in this way, I will know how many singularities I have and when I have to switch them. Also, whenever we have more than half a million compressed obsidian, I'm going to activate this guy so that it will make us colossal stars. Uh, that was already half a million, so you might see how much it's consuming. And then I'm going to put them in our transmutation table so that we would be able to just take out the final star shard. And we almost have five quadrillion EMC. I probably should not round it up. That 0.1 is actually 100 trillion EMC. That's a lot. Another thing that we have to take into consideration is the fact that now that Landia has been removed, the ingots that we needed in order to make different types of essences from mystical agriculture have been changed. They have been substituted by a new ingot called neutral steel of different magnitudes. So it starts from first and goes as high as 11. And the way that you make them is that you have to make the first one, then use the first one in order to make the second one, and so on and so forth and yeah <laughs> it gets crazy oh this one's nice well that was the only one which is nice the rest of them are just bad so we have to start working on that as well but the thing is we are going to need creative essence which is going to need a lot of insanium in order to make the infinity catalyst i have a block of insanium and we should see if we can animate it because otherwise we have to automate the entire chain today <laughs> and we cannot wait so we put you down we try to animate you. Oh, you do! So nice! Okay, wrong one, wrong one. Exact copy. My bad. Oh, we're out of compressed obsidian and I forgot to turn this guy off. It's actually decently fast, but you can't keep up with that. You can't keep up with the colossal star. It's just too much and we're already lagging. You're not jumping anymore? Huh. Okay, I thought we were lagging. We're not. Just as a safety precaution, we're also going to have animated blocks for Superium. One thing that I should have checked is that can you unblock them? Yes. You as well, right? Yes. Good. This is basically the essence block and not the ingot. Because we have 9000 of the insanium, but that converts into ingots. For Supremium, I'm not worried at all. Our Wither Farm was very effective. We also don't have to go that crazy with these blocks of essence, so I'm actually going to use this central mob spawning platform. Yeah, I would say that is fine. That's more than we need. The neutral steel of the first degree also requires draconium. How much do we have? Half a million. Huh. I don't know if it's going to be enough or not, so we're going to activate the draconium seed anyway. Where is it? Oh, it's here. I'm just blind. So the imaginary time block requires RF, plant gatherer, and you, right? Yes, I don't think we need to go faster than this. This should be enough. Another very important thing that I should have probably done earlier is that I have to put mending on my wand of animation because it's literally breaking look so can i repair you yes haha <laughs> because the last time i used the wand of animation in project ozone 2 uh you didn't have mending so we're going to make a new pattern for insanium and we're going to replace it and i thought we were going to replace it here but we don't have a pattern for insanium weird yeah i think because of the update yes these guys got removed huh yeah and this is insanium okay now we know. And in order to check, can you make me 100 creative essence? Please. Yes. 
<laughs> okay, good. We don't have that much to do until our singularity is already, and this is only the first badge. I have two more badges to go, so it's going to take a while. But I was thinking we might as well try to do the neutral steel, because right now it's not incredibly urgent, but later on it could be and it could cause some problems. So, uh, we should start with this one. The main question is, how fast are you going to work? We had a setup for Landy over here, and I'm guessing this should be full of blazing pyrotium. So making pyrotium is relatively fast. How fast are you? But that's nice. In our basement over here, we have enough space, which I think it should be enough in order to automate every single one of them. And we should have cables. Yeah, that's 7 out of 32. We are filthy rich, but what we don't have is flux crystals. So these are 11 different ingots, and I'm guessing each one of them is going to require more than one machine. So what we're going to do is that we're going to have a P2P tunnel over here, like so, and then one at the other side. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. Yeah, we put the other one here, and we just use dense cables for here. You know, at first I thought we should do actual auto-crafting, meaning that I hook up the devices into interfaces and I just go to the terminal and say, hey, I want 10 of the 5th degree neutral steel, but I don't think that's going to be good. Because I think it's going to be a very time consuming process and if we want for instance the 11th magnitude, it's going to take ages. So maybe we should do something else, like these ones. If you guys remember this alloy furnace that we have over here for example, is going to make us 4000 vivid alloy ingots and then it will turn off. So it will continuously work until we have 4000 and I think we should do something similar with these. For the first degree I think we are going to have four different machines. So we're going to have four interfaces but they're not going to have patterns. They're going to export draconium and the reason that they're not exporting draconium is because they are not linked. Okay this is the only one which is unlinked. I need more and now you should be linked and you should be exporting. Please. Please. Yes. It works. So we put these guys on top and if they're configured correctly they should get draconium? No. Aha, uh -huh, it's perfectly fine. We can do this. Yeah, exactly. It's a waste of channels, but it's okay because our ME controller is almost empty. On top of those guys, we're going to have a magma crucible. We're exporting pyrotium dust into a crate and then we're going to feed it to the magma crucibles. And now these guys will automatically make us the neutral steel. And now we're going to do some janky wiring and put a level emitter behind the fluid transposer. So if we specify that you're going to emit a redstone signal whenever we have 10,000, I don't know, neutral steel. Yeah, emit when levels are above. And then we have to set you to high. No? Nope. Low? Yeah, it should be on low. Okay, that makes sense. So whenever we have 10,000 neutral steel of the first degree, this guy will stop working. And I have to do it for the rest. Yeah, it actually requires two buckets of blazing pyrotium. Okay. <laughs> That's a lot. I honestly thought that this is going to be the bottleneck, but it seems pyrotium is. But it's okay, we have four of them and that should be enough. For the second degree, we are going to need jellied cryotium. Huh, I was just wondering how the hell are we making snow and it seems that we are using frozen cores. That's not very good. We just use EMC. We just reached 2500 singularities and I was thinking maybe it's a good time to start switching them. So we just dump everything here and I just need you and probably you. So how do we shut them down? Huh. I think we should first stop duplicating items and then we should empty the compressors. Do I really have to break you? I don't want to. Oh, we can just put it on eject and it will just empty itself. So a crazy amount of items are going to go in our ME system. Yeah, all the blocks are going back. Most of them are empty and I have already prepared the next set of blocks. So we're going to go with Abilcelnite, Ataxium, Gradium, Boron, Lithium, Refined Corallium, Lunar, Palladium, Dark Iron, Electrotine, Ardite, Cobalt, Lumium, Signalum, Indirium, Iridium, Sapphire, Manulin, Ruby, and also the Botania blocks. So Mana Quartz, Lavender Quartz, Blaze Quartz, and Elven Quartz. These Quartz blocks from Botania have actually substituted some of the blocks from Landia and they have EMC so our job is easier and you go back in. Alright guys, before we proceed with the production of different neutral steel ingots, there is something that you should know. In order to make the first degree, which I cannot find it for some reason, ah this one, you're going to need a draconium ingot with blazing pyrotium and you will get one, correct? Good. For the second tier, you're going to need three of them in jellied cryotium and you will only get one. For the third tier, you're going to need three of the second tier and you're going to need irotium and you will get one. And I guess you get the idea. So in order to make the 11th one, you're going to need a bajillion of the first one. 
correct? And you're also going to need it for a lot of crafting. For instance, in order to make Prudentium Essence, instead of using Frision or Frisken or whatever the hell that thing was from Landia, you're now going to need the first degree. So you're going to need hundreds and thousands of them. And you're also going to need different types of tiers for different tiers of essence. So what I'm trying to say is that basically, if you want to start mystical agriculture from the start and you want to make insanium, you're screwed. But the thing is, before I updated the pack, I actually made a block of each and every essence. So we don't need any of these ingots in order to make essences. We just need them in order to finish some of the recipes and that's it. And we don't need them in very large quantities. Also, I just noticed that you need the sixth degree in order to make the crystal tine ingot and we already have a block. So we are fine. Oh, it's 404. It's going to be an error. Yeah, I know, I'm very funny. I just did a rough calculation and it seems in order to make one 11 degree neutral steel, you're going to need 59,000 of the first degree. So yeah, it's pretty painful. But for us, it was also relatively painful because uh, we had to get Frisian and we had to get a lot of ingots from Landia. And there is actually a limit on how many quarries you can run. Uh, we don't want sand. Yes, we don't want sand. And since I was talking about land core ingots, I remembered that we had this setup in order to process them. And we're using blazing pyrotium. So we can use this setup as well. And the only thing that we have to do is to export draconium. Yes, that is true. I just have to configure all of them and it should work fine. So in this way, we have nine fluid transposers, which are making the first degree ingot, which I personally think that should be enough for us. So pyrotium gives us the first degree, Cryotium gives us the second degree and for some reason you go there. I don't know why. Yeah, I think instead of conduits I should have used ME cables because this is not working very well. The thing is, the second degree goes into the interface and then goes back here. Yeah, I think we're going to use an export bus and that should be more reliable. Yeah, I think this time it's working okay. Good. So the first one is going to require blazing pyrotium. The second one is going to require jelly cryotium. The third one is going to require irotium. So if we export the second tier into them, they're going to make us the third one. For the fourth one, we're going to require tectonic petrotium. So we're going to export the third one and we should get the fourth one. And the only thing that I have to adjust is the level emitters. We're getting the fourth one. We are not going to go until 11 today. We are maybe going to go until five or six. Let's see how far we can go. So the fifth one is not that bad. Huh. Do you remember that a few minutes ago an idiot was telling you that this setup is going to be enough for us? You're looking at his face. Well, now you're looking at his face. The thing is, I just noticed that in order to make one 11 degree neutral ingot, I'm going to need 480,000 pieces of pyrotium dust. That's a lot. Because you're going to need eight pieces per one. So that's not gonna work. If we want them to work constantly, we are going to go with like 60 magma crucibles. We can craft it, very nice. Yeah, I think we are going to use 40 of them in order to make pyrotium and maybe 20 something in order to make cryotium. For irotium and petrotium, it doesn't really matter because by the time we reach this stage, we don't have that many ingots anyway. Oh, and by the way, we are getting the fifth one through an alloy smelter, which is an enhanced one. And I just wanted to say that it's expensive. That's it. Oh my goodness, this is going to take a while. Huh. My main problem is that our applied energy system is actually not as fast as I wanted it to be. So we need to do this manually. We are going to have EMC over here through our ender chest and then we are going to have five energy condensers and we are going to give you speed upgrades so that you will be able to provide all of them with obsidian. It's not going to be very fast but we don't need that much EMC anyway because the only things that we are going to duplicate are snow, redstone, sulfur, blaze powder, and bliss powder. Yeah, I should have probably done this in a more organized fashion because I want to make pyrotium dust and cryotium dust, and I have bliss powder and blaze powder next to each other. So that's not gonna work. You go over here, and then just to keep it symmetrical, I'm going to add another one over here in order to make redstone. Yeah, exactly. So these energy condensers are for pyrotium, and this one is for cryotium. And I think we are going to use crafters from RF tools. Four of them should be enough. Oh, what? <laughs> how? You don't know how to make that? Okay, I can make a pattern, that is fine. And the crafters are going to make us pyrotium and cryotium. So if we export the ingredients from here, those guys should start working. Uh, they don't have power. And obviously for power, we're going to use a quantum entangler porter with a draconic energy crystal. You can directly connect the IO to the energy crystal and you always don't need a relay. And here we're not going to have a lot of devices, so that should be more than enough. Yeah, work on really fast. We don't care about the power. Cool. So now that these guys are working, 
I just have to set up the magma crucibles. It seems that everything that you have to do in kappa mode, you have to do it in millions. <laughs> so we have 64 magma crucibles. And since configuring each and every one of them is difficult, you can make a red print from thermal expansion and it will just copy the settings. It's basically like your conduit pro. Yeah, I think all the settings are correct and the only thing I have to do is to provide them with power and they should start working. And the huge lag spike is always a good thing. There are one stack of magma crucibles over here and 48 of them are making pyrotium and 16 of them are making cryotium. I just broke one of my ultimate crafting tables. Uh oh, <laughs> those are expensive. No, yeah, we just chuck them in. I'll fix it later. We are going to use a cyan ender tank for cryotium and the orange one for pyrotium. So you go there. And over here, we're not going to need the magma crucibles anymore. So we just remove them. And instead, these guys are going to get an ender tank. Yeah, now it's working at a more decent speed. I'm happy. And it seems that everyone else is keeping up. That is very good. And this is the speed that we're getting the demon steel of the first magnitude. So we're good. I think we're good. You know, just out of insane curiosity, if I add a fluid duct with a servo, Will you work faster? No. Yeah, exactly. It seems that's the limit. Okay, it's fine. Anyway, guys, I think it's also a good time to wrap up the episode. I did say that we are going to get the Infinity Catalyst today, but the thing is, our singularities are not ready. I can make one for decoration, but uh, it doesn't make any sense. We need like 100 of them. Anyhow, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. Till the next one. Bye-bye.